Hello, and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Back to the tea. Cheers. Mm -mm. Today, we've already spoken about notepads, we've already spoken about pens. It suddenly occurred to me, I haven't spoken about two of my oldest pens. So here we go. Cheers. So, what two little toys have we got here? We have one Parker pen and one Schaefer pen. Why am I talking about them? Well, mainly because I discovered them only recently. This Parker has seen some life. The clip is really rather floppy and loose. When I open it up, it's so old that the gripping springs on the inside of the cap have severely dented all of the section there. What about this? This Schaefer is the same age and yet it is surprisingly functional still. It looks the same as it always did. It's got some marks, some scratches on it, but that's about it. So what makes these two pens so important to me? Mainly, they're the pens I had when I was at school. That is, let's just think, that takes me back to about 1972-73 I bought these pens, which means they are really very old. This, I think they're both medium nibs, and the Parker served me well. I use this almost invariably as a refillable pen. It used to have a rubber sack with a little metal enclosure, so you could squeeze a spring on the metal enclosure, and it would squeeze out the air and then suck up ink. And it worked enormously well for really a very, very long time. It wrote really very nicely. That is an extremely pleasant nib. But it has suffered. Oh boy, has it suffered. I don't know why that is so loose. There must be some sort of connector on the inside that I can't quite see that has allowed it to come loose. And I liked this pen a lot. Medium nib wrote very, very well and would write consistently for a day or more. It was good. This was different. I bought this because my brother acquired, in inverted commas, my father's old Schaefer pen, which was a snorkel. It was a lovely pen. Really, really nice. If you don't know what a snorkel Schaefer is, I would recommend you look it up. But basically you had a blind cap here, you'd unscrew the cap, and a long thin tube would come out and if you kept on winding it or if you pulled it in and out I think in fact it would suck up ink through this snorkel then you shoved it down tightened it up the snorkel went back in and you had a fully filled pen but no ink all over the section or anything so it was something you could write with almost immediately let's just see ah yes this has the sort of filler that the Parker used to have. So you can see that there's a rubber bladder in there. Squeeze that and it'll squeeze the air out and suck ink in. Nice and simple. I obviously looked after this pen quite well because it looks as though that's pretty much a functioning piece of equipment. Let's just see if that works still, shall we? What have we got here? Some verdigris. I haven't used this for a while. So I'm going to zip that in there. Let's see if it works. With a couple of squeezes. Now this is a hazardous experiment because obviously a pen this old, the rubber will have degraded and deteriorated, so it's quite likely that I'm now going to have an explosion of ink all over my fingers. Never mind, I can cope. Now this pen has not been filled with ink in at least 
40 years, probably longer. Let's get some nice paper out. And let's see. I do like this pen because it's so light that you can actually post it. I very, very rarely post pens, but with this, it was always just about okay. And the thing I like is it's a rather fatter nib. What I'm talking about here, with pressure, means that I can write, because it's such a wet writer, I can write fairly thin lines, or if I really put a bit of welly behind it, I get standard fairly fat lines. But it's a, it's a wet writer. It's... A very comfortable writer. It's The barrel is just the right size for me. It feels good. Without the cap it still writes, but it is a bit short for me. Which I'd never noticed before. Probably when I was at school I wouldn't have noticed that at all. But now, yes, obviously it does need a cap on it for me. But it feels good. And for a pen that's this old, to still be working and hopefully without any leakage. No sign of any leakage there at all. I think that is quite a stunning demonstration of why these are very good pens. As to other functions, there really is very little you can say about it. There's nothing on the back, nothing on the cap. All it is, really, is that pen with, I think, quite an elegant design. I like the design of the Schaefer's. I really, really like that spring clip. That's as good as my Visconti's, and as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing better than the Visconti. That's as good as it. In terms of decoration, all you've got is the Schaefer white dot, chrome, bit of chrome there. There isn't anything else to talk about, really. But... If you look at the pen a bit more closely, let's just zoom in slightly. See if we can show this off a little bit. Come on now, focus on the pen please. You can see that it has been scratched quite severely. I mean, this, this is a pen that has been used extensively. And yet, there's nothing really to show for it apart from a few scratches on the barrel. Isn't that lovely? And now that's all done. I should just apologise for the slightly lunatic Professor Brainstorm hair, but my hairdresser after Christmas decided to have a baby, which got in the way of things somewhat. And so I haven't been able to have my hair cut since before Christmas. And I'm now tempted every time I look at my beard trimmer because I might end up with a bullet head or an even more bullet head. But it would look a bit better than this damn silly mess. So next time you see me, it could be radically different. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, if you want to help support this channel, go to Patreon down the bottom. But other than that, if you've got any comments, add them. If you'd like to subscribe, then hit the bell button if you want to be notified when there's new videos coming out. Share it, like it, do all those decent things, and then hopefully I'll see you in a week or so. Thanks a lot for watching, and speak to you soon. Bye-bye. You can turn off now. Bye.